be my friend here. Thank you. <laughs> when trauma happens. Come on, friend. The line between okay and not okay can be blurry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Jen Mers um, communicates with her brush. Just getting some of that like, the emotion out with the bigger strokes and, you know, with like texture. and Each unspoken word helps Jen tell her story. Getting heavy and painting yourself and talking about your sexual assault. Well, my abuse started when I was eight, almost nine. Her stepdad abused her until she was almost 18. Art was always there to help Jen heal. This piece represents my mental, physical divide of my own body. Mm -hmm. um, to this day, I still have a really hard time acknowledging from like here down. It's so powerful. Yeah. Megan Carvajal is also an artist and survivor. It reminds me of my own body and the kind of shame I feel, feel and then still carry. She knows that works like Jen's can open up the conversation. Nobody wants to talk about sexual violence. We have the, we have the opportunity to change that conversation. That's why Megan and the Blue Bench, a center for sexual assault survivors, came up with RISE an art show filled with 46 works by survivors. We get caught in right or wrong way to heal, um, but a survivor's journey is a survivor's journey. My hope was to inspire others and encourage them to speak up or get help. Megan and Jen demand these works, make it loud and clear. As terrifying as that is, it's really empowering. That there's strength in art, words, and numbers. But there are people out there that I hope I can encourage to just speak up, take your voice back.